Mr. Beast stuff. Mr. Beast? I really do Mr. Beast, man. We are at a high school and I'm about to offer this student $100,000 to drop out. We worked with her mom and her teacher and she had... Would you do that? Hell yeah, I would do that. The fuck? I would drop out of school. Wait like two weeks and then come back in. What you talking about? I have no idea we're about to interrupt her summer school lesson with $100,000 Oh, summer cash. school. She in summer oh, school. Let's see if she answers the trick question correct. Hey, do you mind if we interrupt? Have you ever heard of the channel Mr. Beast? I have. Okay, this will make this so much easier. <laughs> Boys, bring in the $100,000. Hello. Huh? Would you drop out of high school for $100,000 in cash? Yes. Why not? Because I can still make money going to college and get a career. I agree, which is why this is actually a trick question. And if you said yes, I wouldn't have given you money. But since you said no, you just won a hundred thousand dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> Here's twenty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. It's so heavy. Don't let it fall. Yeah. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> like, what the fuck? No problem. We're just all crying. This is a Lamborghini. And Neil, if you can parallel park this Lamborghini between these two Teslas, I'll let you- Oh my God. Keep it. This is too easy, bro. You seem pretty confident. I'm from New York. Oh yeah, he got it. He got it. He got he's got it. a parallel parking. I don't need these anymore. Are these the keys to your car? Yeah, man. I don't need them. I'm gonna drop home in this. I got this. Here we go. Oh, wait, Neil, wait, wait. I forgot to mention, if this Lamborghini touches one of these Teslas, he loses it. All right, keep going. If he parallel parks this Lamborghini right here, he keeps it. This is terrifying. I'm good right here. You're good. You're All good. Right. What? Oh, 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 no. Tap it. Neil, do you know how wait, I Fuck. Hit the other car. Turn the car. Neil, I think I need your car keys back because this is our next contestant. Let's see if Yvette can parallel park a Lamborghini. Carl and the crazy part is, bro, that spot, I don't think the car could really fit in that shit. Like, you have to, you could fit in it, but you're not going to be completely in it. Can you get in and teach her? That button? The way over there is This reverse. one? There's not, a, like, a parindle? No, you use paddles. Paddles? Oh, no. This is going to be a while, so we'll find out later in the video if she wins the Lambo. I have over 100 different watermelons in this field, and this is a check for $1 million. Uh, oh. Whoa, oh. that was kind of perfect. Okay, boom. There is now a check for $1 million inside this watermelon. Jay, you are surrounded by over 100 watermelons. One of these watermelons has a check for $1 million inside of it. You get to bash one single watermelon, and if you bash the one with a million dollars in it, you become a millionaire. I, I, I'm gonna find it. Okay. I'm gonna find that one melon. There's big melons, there's little melons, there's green ones and yellow ones. This is sounding like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> I have no idea what melon to pick here. I see some footprints now. Next to this one, I don't know. Jay's studying our footprints in the sand. He's analyzing the stems. Choices, choices, choices. Pick the watermelon you're smashing. I, uh, it, no, okay. no, no, get away from no. me. I'm not a watermelon. This is my million. That's this is it. it. Look, it's oh, all boy. shiny. You're gonna make me a millionaire, Mr. Beast. Ah, hit it. Did he get it? Oh, he got it. $1,000. I'll take $1,000 hey, for a watermelon. Hey. If you would've went 10 watermelons to your right, uh, that's a thousand dollars. There it is. You would have saw this one million dollar check. Can you confirm it says a million dollars? That does say one million dollars. Yes. The only thing that stood between you and a million dollars was ten watermelons. <coughs> if you punch this bag, it will rate that how much the punch but... was. So naturally, I grab three of the strongest men I know and Chandler. Is that and Chandler? And Chandler <laughs> one of them scores the highest, gets thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> What is he getting all this money from? Like, what the fuck? I say we start with the biggest guy. I'm about to falcon punch this thing. Probably should have tested. Oh, yeah. 300, 400. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 902, 902. Oh. I would say the next biggest person is Noah. Come on, Noah. Okay. Boom. He's got to be 902. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. That's all good, bro. 902 is the one to beat. So far, the money is yours. Let's see if Sean can change that. This is Sean, my bodyguard. Act like this is someone trying to assault me. No, Sean, save me. Punch the bag. <laughs> Goodbye, Lava. Oh! oh, 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 oh that come in. The score didn't go up, so technically it doesn't count. <laughs> Sean. Oh, that, that looked good. like a good hit. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. As of now, this $30,000 in cash is yours. The only man in the world that can take it away from you is Chandler. Chandler, <laughs> I'm going to put it right there. 
take your hatred out. He's pulling on his crackhead string. Oh! Ooh. Go up! Okay. Oh, wow! You scored no, high with that shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn, dude, it's close. I punch hard and it ha it helped. <laughs> so I can get my wisdom teeth out. Back at the parking lot, Yvette was really taking her time parking this Lamborghini. She literally spent over two hours strategizing with Nolan, but she does have until the end of the day to complete this. So we're gonna go give away more money in the meantime. And now we're yeah. back in a high school classroom with Mr. Hughes. That's me. Have a seat right here, sir. How the tables have turned. And this is Professor Chandler. Hi. This is the history book you teach your high school students. That is a textbook we use. Chandler's gonna pick a random question from this book, and if you get it right, we'll give you ten thousand dollars in cash. Okay. Hey, Chandler, go ahead and flip it. And that's an old textbook too, so you should know a good amount. Right. Book. Flip. The Cold War. The Soviet Union views NATO as a threat. In response, the Soviets developed an alliance system in 1955 as a part of their own containment policy. It was known as the yeah. Warsaw Pact. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! You I just won $10,000. Now, here's the thing. Do you want to risk this $10,000 that you just won for a chance at $20,000. Sure. Yes. I know this book front and back, no problem. As a teacher, he should. This time yeah, we have should. Professor Carl with $20,000 on the line. The Aztecs control central Mexico. What is a hard, glassy green or black rock found in the Valley of Mexico and used to make razor sharp weapons? The schist rock? Obsidian. That does say obsidian, which means he just won another $20,000. Yeah. I picked that because of Minecraft. Now, obviously, uh -huh. your cash power is getting pretty big. That's $20,000. Do you want to risk your 20 grand for a shot at 30? We'll give it a shot. It's time to get serious. I'm going to pick an extremely hard one. Oh, he's really good at that. Uh -huh. Around 520, an Italian monk began writing a book describing a strict yet practical set of rules for monasteries. Who wrote? Benedict of Nursia. Oh, Wait, he got it he's right. He's nice. He's nice. That's a good teacher right there. You just won 30 grand in cash. I studied a Benedict in Mon And that looks like a prep school. Like, like it's expensive. Like, I'm a stereo. Like they they rank. How did, was I supposed to know that? It pays to be a good teacher and know your textbook. Thank you very, very much. They just gave him like about half of his of his salary. Like, this more than half. This is $20,000 in cash. It's real. You can split it 50-50 with a random stranger, or you can steal it and walk away with all $20,000 in cash. Any questions? Is there a catch? There's no catch. There's no catch at all. No catch at all. So we steal, steal it, it then. <laughs> okay, well that was quick. There's no, no catch at all? This one old man's really sad right now. <laughs> Wait, what? The guy that lost out on 10 grand is going to be watching this. What Wait, do you have I'm to so say? sorry. What do you have to say I to him? I didn't know. Oh, you did know. I thought there was going to be cash. You did. Yeah. You did know. You said you thought there was going to be cash. They said no cash. What are you talking about? You Boom. got it, though. All $20,000. No. All right, have a good day. You <laughs> too. Thanks. Would you have split the $20,000 with someone random? A person you've never met in your entire mm, life? No, don't even say yes. they needed it. Yeah, I would have. What a nice guy. Now I feel kind of bad. Luckily, we're going to invite him to be back in a future video, so don't worry. We're not completely screwing him over. Next bit. Don't forget to watch the end to see if she wins this expensive she hit the car. Lamborghini. This is $20,000 in cash, and this is a mountain of candy. Ew. And this is Chris's son, Tucker. I made this. Chris, I think is it I made where this. I'm going with this. Pick the money, boy. Put Tucker dead in the middle. Okay. Right here. We've been working on this. Tucker, step, step, step. Oh, he knows how to walk step. now. Go, 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 go. Uh -huh. This is a bunch of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. This is a bunch of candy. Candy, money. Which one do you want? Huh? Tucker. Follow the money trail. <laughs> Woo! Two can play that game. Look. No. Uh -oh. Candy's gross. It's bad for your two teeth. Tucker literally Dude. didn't move for almost 45 minutes. Honestly, Tucker, if you pick the money, I wouldn't even care at this point. Just pick one or the other. He said, okay, light, go. And let's go. We got Croc, come on. <laughs> peekaboo. It was never a fair challenge to begin with. Peekaboo. He pulled out the peekaboo. When does it count? I don't know. <laughs> He's just grabbing the lights. <laughs> we'll just, uh, Oh, wow, he touched the money. Whoa. Good job. Whoa. Also, I'm going to give you some of this. We're going to take one of those lights. Home. Okay, Tucker, the world wants to know, are you happier about the 20 grand or this light? So you heard it here, folks. Thank you, Tuck. Next bit. This is a Beast Burger available nationwide at our over 800 restaurants. 
He has 800 restaurants, what the fuck? Also in UK and Canada. And this is the world's best eater, Joey Chestnut, that ate the largest slice of pizza all by himself. Tyler, if you can eat this one burger before he can eat three burgers, I'll give you this Beast Burger car. Are you concerned at all by this man? No, no, he has a little baby mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I'm gonna begin the countdown. World's best eater, three burgers. Tyler Oliver, one burger. Three, two, one, go! Okay, let's see. Why are you eating it like Joey's that? Joey's already halfway done with the burger. He's drinking a lot of water. <laughs> Before we did this challenge, he was watching videos on how to professionally eat. And I think he's taking them too serious. Joey's a burger and a half done, and you're not even a quarter of the way done with one burger. Yeah, that's Just soak your food. Hey, uh, he already ate two entire beast burgers. He's already starting on the third. He's got half a burger yeah, he's left. Done. Honestly, you should just go slower. He's not even close. I'd hate for you to like try too hard. Does it at least taste good? It's not bad at all. You heard it here. Go order it's not it. Not bad at okay. all. Wait, one bite left. Joe. What the fuck? <laughs> Tyler, he ate three burgers in the time you ate a patty. I mean, you do this for a living, yeah? It's my job. Follow okay. me over here so you're not in the way of Joey's brand new car. This is wild. Now when you drive down the street, fans can harass you. It was one of the easiest challenges ever. My competitor was, uh, he was so slow. I, I love to eat, so it was fun. It's literally like nothing changed since we left. <laughs> We've been doing this so long, it's almost out of gas. Wait, really? I'm gonna give you until this Lamborghini runs out of gas. Look at me real quick. I believe in you. At least someone believes in me. Should I guess? She's going. She's gone. I'm so scared. You got this. Tiny bit more. Oh my god! Ooh. It is less than an inch away. If you shook the car right now, it would hit the Tesla. What is that, like an inch and a half? Inch and a half. She's gonna have to fully commit to one of them. I know. Commit to this one and then keep readjusting. Ready? No! No! Did it hit? No, it didn't. I'm gonna cry. We think she hit the Tesla. Play the clip. It, yeah, she did. This piece of paper can't fit between the cars. They're touching. No. 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 They're no. definitely touching. She didn't win the Lamborghini. Can you break the news to her? Some of the people you <laughs> saw competing in this video were literally random subscribers. And if you subscribe, you could be flown down to compete for money in future videos. So don't miss out and subscribe. <laughs>